teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson. As you may remember, in our previous lesson, we've discussed about beginning balance sheet. Let me take you back to the definition of balance sheet. Balance sheet is the financial statement that shows a business's assets, liabilities, and owner's equity as of a specific date, also called the statement of financial position. In today's lesson, we're going to discuss the accounting equation. All the assets of a business are subject to claims by its creditors and owners. Total assets should equal the total claims of creditors and owners. This is known as accounting equation. Accounting equation is the most fundamental equation of double entry bookkeeping system. It expresses the relationship between what is owned and what is owed by the entry. The accounting equation shows financial position as assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. Business transactions affect financial position by decreasing or increasing assets, liabilities, and owner's equity in such a way that the accounting equation is always in balance. If asset is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity, then owner's equity is equal to assets minus liabilities and liabilities is equal to assets minus owner's equity. Students, look at this demonstration which shows how a balance sheet increases and decreases within three sections by taking a practical example. Assume a small business owner gets a bank loan of 5 million bir in cash. In the balance sheet, the liability increases by the size of the loan and the asset also increases by the same amount of cash, the balance sheet remains in balance. The owner bought a car used for customer delivery and paid bir 2,500,000. This transaction affects the balance sheet as follows. The cash decreases by bir 2,500,000 but the balance of asset increases by another asset by the same amount. The owner invests bir 500,000 as additional investment for expansion. Every month, he makes a payment against loan. Then he reduces his liabilities by 1 million bir. The amount of the payment and the cash amount decreases by the same amount. To find out his business worth, tracks liabilities from his assets equal to the net worth of his business. Did you understand the practical example? Good. Now it's time to do an individual activity. Get ready. One item is omitted in each of the following summaries of balance sheet. Find the missing amount. Asset 800,000, liabilities 650,000, and the missing amount is capital. Asset 75,000, capital 75,000, and the missing amount is liabilities. Asset 60,000, capital 45,000, 
and the missing amount is liabilities. Liabilities 150,000, capital 65,000, and the missing amount is assets. Did you find the missing amount? Good. Let's do it together. The missing amount is 800,000 minus 650,000 is equal to 150,000. That is, assets minus liabilities is equal to capital. 75,000 minus 75,000 is equal to zero. That is, asset minus capital is equal to liabilities. 60,000 minus 45,000 is equal to 15,000. That is, asset minus capital is equal to liabilities. 150,000 plus 65,000 is equal to 215,000. That is, liabilities plus capital is equal to asset. The body of balance sheet has three sections. Now let us see this section in detail. The first section of balance sheet is asset which is a list of all that a business firm owns under its name. Assets are listed on the left-hand side of the balance sheet that is known as debit. The second section of balance sheet is liability. This is a list of all that the business owes and listed on the right-hand side or credit. It would include everything that needs to be paid to other people or business. The third section of balance sheet is the owner's equity or capital. It is the amount that the owners of the business claim as their own ownership. This is listed on the right hand side or credit. Based on the aforementioned points, the steps in preparing a balance sheet are as follows. Write heading on three lines. Center each item in the heading. First line, 
who or name of business second line what or name of the form third line when or date of the form prepare the assets section on the left hand side write the word assets list of the name and amount of each of assets prepare the liabilities section on the right hand side write the word liabilities list of the name and amount of each of liabilities in the next line. Rule a single line across the last amount and write total liabilities. Are you following me? Good. Let us continue our discussion. Prepare the capital account on the right hand side or credit. Write the word capital and the name of the owner, the word capital and the amount in the next line. Determine if the balance sheet is in balance and complete its preparation as follows. Rule a single line across the amount column of both sides of balance sheet Add each column and compare the totals. The two sides of totals must be the same. Write the word total assets on the left hand side, total liabilities and capital in the right hand side and the total amount. Rule double line across both amount columns. This shows the balance sheet is in balance. Students, now let us do a group activity. Form a group of four or five. Get ready. What are the fundamental steps in preparing a balance sheet? Students, did you get the answer? Good. Let us do the activity together. The steps for preparing a balance sheet are the following. Write the heading. Prepare the assets section. Prepare the liability section. Prepare the capital section. Determine if the balance sheet is in balance.
The balance sheet shows how your business is being funded and how you are using these funds. Based on the following data, let us see how to prepare a balance sheet. Ngudai Photo Studio is owned by Kabeda Biru. Its Meskaram 30 2005 balance sheet contained the following items in Bir. Asset, cash, 500,000 Bir. Office equipment, 85,000 Bir. Photo studio equipment, 200,000 Bir. Liabilities, bank loan, 300,000 Bir. GW Trading, 200,000 Bir. First, find the missing amount and prepare the balance sheet. Then, the missing or capital amount is 285,000. Students, now it is time to do an individual activity. Get ready. The following data indicates the assets and liabilities of AA Trading Corporation at Meskaram 30 2005 Ethiopian calendar that is owned by Asrat Admasi. Asset, cash, 800,000 bir, office equipment, 150,000 bir, merchandise, 400,000 bir. Liabilities, bank loan, 500,000 bir, AT Trading, 300,000 bir. Now find the missing amount and prepare a balance sheet for AA Trading. Use the date Meskaram 30, 2005 Ethiopian calendar. Students, did you get the answer? Good. Let us do it together. And the following is in balance balance sheet. Cash, 800,000. Office equipment, 150,000. Merchandise, 400,000. Liabilities, bank loan, 500,000. AT Trading, 300,000. Asrat Admasi's capital is 550,000. Let us wind up today's lesson by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned about accounting equation and how to prepare a balance sheet. The balance sheet shows how a business is being funded, and how it is using these funds. The body of balance sheet has three sections, what is owned, what is owed, 
and what the business is worth. In our next session, we will discuss the journal and source of its entry. With this, we come to the end of today's lesson. Until next time, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students. Goodbye. Thank you.